Well, that, that's a good segue to the next question, which is, um, what have you found in your practice and maybe particularly here uh, with seminarians uh, to be some of the, well, let's, let's, let's say generally that way, uh, uh, what, what have you found to be some of the most substantial uh, ailments that, that people today are struggling with? Thank you. That segues into another question that you sent me, namely, what do priests handle greatly in confessions these days? And I do talk to a lot of priests. So they're similar. What are the great things here? What are the great things in parish confessions? Here at St. Vladimir's, mostly male students, some married, some unmarried. <clears throat> I love St. Vladimir's because it's like vegetable soup. We have people from Africa and New Zealand and Australia and Malankara and, and they eat in a refectory together and get along fine. So whatever image I have of Orthodoxy United, <laughs> I just walk in our refectory at dinner time and I can see it, you know, a whole bunch of humans doing that. That said, your question, <clears throat> The most prominent, prevalent temptation, sin, addiction here and for priests talking to males in confession by far is internet pornography addiction and all of its subcategories, masturbation and all that goes with that. <clears throat> as, as an addiction, as something that the person cannot not do. I, I stop, I go to confession, I try, but whatever it is as a passion, force, carnal passion, is greater than I am. And of course, we have no idea what size or scope or intelligence these forces are. We're not fighting flesh and blood, we're fighting powers of darkness. <clears throat> So that's really where I would answer your question as the most prominent thing. And then, of course, the other, so that's only half of the question. Okay, okay, okay. That's the problem. What's the solution? What do you do about it? And the answer in short form is accountability and transparency. So I've been at this decades here, and there's a group called Sexaholics Anonymous, S-A, like A-A, Alcoholics Anonymous, that locally around Crestwood, uh -huh. there are groups within 10 miles that meet every night of the week, except, except Sunday, and some morning, afternoon meetings. And I have sent a number of seminarians, faculty, staff, and students to SA meetings successfully. That is, it has got the monkey off their back. Some ordained as a priest out there have continued with SA in their local city, neighborhood. And the question is always, what happens if a parishioner comes? And that has happened to graduates. And they've discovered that this is really sacred ground, that these people are there to be rid of the addiction and get closer to Jesus Christ, and therefore are trustworthy and it's a safe enough place and don't worry about anybody squealing on you or betraying you. Though, so these days, some of the students can't, won't do that, so ratcheting down, I, transparency and accountability, have a couple of people, seniors, who are available to talk with other seminarians about this issue. So I'll say, I'll make up names. John, senior, I have a first year student who's fighting in the pornography. He'd like to talk with somebody. Can I give him your name? I never wrote female and then have him call you a couple times a week and say how he's doing. Sure, Dr. Rossi. So, so that's like a little system I have working for me. 
and frankly, I don't know, I can't even, can't keep track of them half the time, but <clears throat> a whole bunch of students talking to other students, which is really the what one wants to encourage, mm -hmm. about not only lust and lust behaviors, but their feelings and I'm just feeling funky and I don't know why and I just need to say that and I'm off center. Transparency and accountability, which many, particularly males, don't do too easily. And of course that the great consequence of internet pornography and any sexual addiction is isolation, emotional isolation, which easily leads to despondency and despair. And the worst thing that can happen anybody is total despair. Ah! And that's where that road goes. And I know of people in SA, two of them locally, who have committed suicide because of this. Just so, it's a, so that's the series. So below that are other things, anger and and so on. But the big, the big one is.